Trek Segafredo's new signing, John Degenkolb, may have won Paris-Roubaix and Milan-San Romo in the same year. Ten stages of the Vuelta and again, Wevel again for good measure, amongst numerous other victories. But can he make the grade in the GCN versus John Degenkolb challenge, where he'll face the Barista Challenge, the Thigh Bicep Circumference Off, a sprint and a John Degenkolb quiz. So John, thanks for agreeing to do the challenge today. I'm just, are you, are you fit, are you ready? Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're here for training camp and uh, not for holiday, so uh, even in training camp, you have to challenge yourself and uh, I think uh, we, we should do that today. Let's do it. Let's do it. One nil to you. So how did I go? Oh, it was, it was pretty fast with tailwind. Actually, that's something that I don't like. Okay. So you had kind of a different kind of a advantage. Oh well, it was one nil. Still got three rounds to go. I think up next is the bicep <laughs> challenge. Oh, I need a rest. Round two is the bicep and thigh circumference off. First on the Oki is John. We're going to measure in centimetres the diameter of your bicep. Looking pretty good. We have 35.2 centimetres. 35.2, just going to stick that in the computer. Right, you need to measure mine. Let's get, let's get some tension in it. Yeah. Where's your tension? It's 33.5. 33.5? So, I think you beat me by lesser. quite a bit there. Thighs are up next. You've stolen a small lead. I might have to stand up for this one. I'll give you, do you first. 57.3. 57.3. It's... 54.2. Oh, God, he's beat me on both. I can't believe it. 54.2. I don't even need to add those two up to see that at the moment it's 2 0 to John Denkolb. Yeah. So, round three is the barista off, and we have Fabio Fellini, who uh, comes from a family of, of kind of baristas, basically. He's going to show me and John exactly what needs to be done. So we're going to step back and let the maestro show us what to do. So Fabio set the bar pretty high, so me and John now I've got to try and match that. I'm just going to have a sip, if you don't mind, just to sort of temperature. Feels good. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. That's pretty spot on. John, do you want to, do you want to go first? I go first, okay? Go first. <laughs> this looks pretty good. I say nothing. <laughs> so what are we saying out of 10 for John's coffee or cappuccino? It's not bad, eh? No, 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 no. Six. Matt Stevens on the hockey. <laughs> Just massaging the bubbles here, massaging the foam. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> what do you reckon? This is this is a this is, is round three. Uh, ah, the rotation. Five. The, Five. The, the point is, I mean, I'm used to do this. I have a coffee machine like this at home, so uh, you did the big mistake when. Uh, Oh, the last, the big, it so... it's too much of a wave. Yeah, yeah. So that was what lost me the points. Yeah. Is it the right temperature? Oh, no. <laughs> it's the John Degenkolb quiz, where I'll ask you five questions about yourself. Should be that hard, huh? Okay, well, I've got... You would think, but... Uh... Question one. Your first Walter stage win was in 2012. What was the name of the town that it finished in? I have no idea. I, I know some other names, uh, some other stages uh, I've won there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give the answer. Uh, the town is called Vienna. Oh, OK. OK, so it's 1-0 uh, to Matt at the moment. <laughs> um, OK, so who did you beat into second place on that stage? Alan Davis. Oh, he's got it right. 1-1, one, one. very well remembered. What was the average speed of Paris-Roubaix when you won. I'm going to give you three choices and you have to choose the right one. Right. Is it A, 43.690 kilometers an hour? Is it B, 43.476 kilometers an hour? Or is it C, 43.557 <laughs> kilometers an hour? Come is on. it A, B or C? <laughs> one of those answers is right. <laughs> 557, I don't know. I really don't It's know. incorrect. It is. B, 43.476. 2-1 to Matt at the moment. Okay, we'll move on now to question number four. In 2013, when you won Paris Tour, who did you share the podium with? For sure there was uh, Arnaud Demar on the podium. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll give you a little clue. I'll give down. you a little clue. He's Danish. He's Danish. Okay, then uh, Michael Murkoff. Yes. Give him a cheeky clue there, but it's 2-2. Two, two. Question number five. Can you name three races from the four races that you won the points classification jersey in 2014? I won uh, the Vuelta, the green jersey. Yeah, you did. That's correct. I think I even won uh, Paris-Nice. Paris-Nice, well done. Four days of Dunkirk. It's an incorrect answer. I'm afraid... I have won the quiz, three points to two, but I'll put you out of your misery, it? John. What was it? Etoile de Bessage. Ah. And also Tour of the Med. Ah. I bet I said, yeah. <laughs> but there you go. But John Denkov, thank you very much. I think you still win the competition 3-1, but thank you very much for being such a good thank sport. Thank you. John Denkov, fantastic stuff. It was great fun. Thank you. Thanks again to John Denkov of Trek Sigafredo for taking the challenge. I was roundly beaten by three points to one. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you can do so by clicking on the globe, and in doing that, you won't miss another video. Now, for another challenge video, check this one out just down here, where I challenged Peter Sagan just before the Vuelta in 2015. And for yet another challenge video, click just up here for our presenter challenge on the Sacalobra climb in Mallorca.